Visionary Investor Podcast. The Visionary Investor Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Marks, and I'm a stock market wealth investment mentor, speaker, and entrepreneur who has a passion for all things stock market investing, diving deep into quantitative and qualitative analysis, creating formulas and calculations that optimize stock market investing, and creating a life that fits your biggest and wildest dreams. You're in the right place if you're ready to tap into some investing strategies that aren't taught without getting a degree, working for an investment firm, and some that aren't even taught anywhere else in the world. Find deeper clarity on your investments and what your future can hold. Strengthen your understanding of recession, stocks, and your money, and learn the tools to accelerate your investments and wealth. You're here to be a visionary investor, not an average one a passionate disruptor with uncommon goals in the investing world. It doesn't matter where you are in your investing journey. You're never too late to become a successful investor, and I'm here to help you do that. Let's get into the investing flow. Get into the investing flow. I'm not here to just share what other people are sharing. I'm here to help you become a visionary investor. We're looking for amazing returns with less risk, so that you can go do things like this. You can go record a podcast or go film nature or do whatever is meaningful to you and whatever you love. That's what it's all about. Hey everyone, hope you're having a nice day. This episode's a little different because I'm filming it out here in nature near Denver, Colorado. And today what we're gonna be talking about is called rethinking dollar cost averaging. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with dollar cost averaging, this essentially is when you automatically have shares of stocks that you really love invested at regular intervals to take your emotions out. So what are you doing here? Essentially, you're trying to avoid worrying about timing the market and getting emotional about your investments. So you still always want to do your research, but the thing that's different about it is you're automatically investing. So sometimes you'll be investing at a higher price, sometimes at a lower price. And what happens here is you're finding an average price. So you're getting an average cost per share that is not going to be as high or as low as these market jumps. Now, I'm actually here though to talk about rethinking dollar cost averaging because I strongly believe that if you actually understand stock market patterns and understand recessions, that you can actually find better timing, not perfect, but better timing in the stock market. And what do I mean by this? So when you understand stock market cycles, like we teach you in Stock Market Millionaire, and through the recession research that I've done, I've found that there are consistent patterns that happen in the stock market. They're just not really spoken too much about. And what's fascinating about these patterns is they really help you see the price movements around the stock market when we're near a recession, in a recession, and after a recession, which are the big, big times where stocks are very volatile because there's so much going on and it's not so much as a result of the company's fundamentals, which you know I talk a lot about. It's as a result of this macroeconomic, this larger scale event that's happening, a recession. There are ways that you can actually predict a recession and contrary to many beliefs, you can use this information to actually better time the market. And let me give you a simple example. So the 2007 recession occurred at the end of 2007. It started then. And in 2006, we had an alert from the 10-year treasury minus the three-month T-bill, which if you want information, I'll share a link to VI Digest, which is our blog on thevisionaryinvestor.com. And there, talk more about the 10-year treasury and the three-month T-bill warning indicator sign. So this indicator happened in 2006. And that showed us that we were about 11 months away from a recession. When we hit the recession in December of 2007, let's say you didn't know we were in a recession and you just happened to buy some shares of stock. And you could use a dollar cost average method to just consistently buy stock every month, every two months, every three months. It could be $10, it could be $100, it could be $1,000, whatever you decide and whatever works for you. But I challenge you to rethink this because here's what can happen. Now, if you know we're near a recession, you know that on average, the stock market has dropped over the past eight recessions over 20% from the start of the recession to the low point in the recession. Now, are you going to get this perfectly? Absolutely not. But if you invest 
when the recession begins and you understand when the recession begins because you're following these key patterns, then you can get a stock price that's significantly lower. Now, are you going to get a perfect? Absolutely not. But by following the cycles, you'll see, all right, it's at a high and now it's starting to fall. Maybe it's down 10, 12, 15%. Maybe it's down 20% and you're purchasing more. Could that not be the bottom? Absolutely. It could go down another 20%. But the thing about it is if you understand these cycles, you're understanding, first of all, why stock prices are declining. You can see it's not purely based on the company that you're investing into. There are other factors here. And what's so amazing about this is it helps you make more informed decisions because you understand, all right, this is not fundamentals of a company this is economics. So really, I challenge you, rethink dollar cost averaging because you could just put money in, let's say you're gonna invest $1,000 this upcoming year, you could decide, all right, you know what? I'm gonna invest $250 every quarter. The first month, first day of the first month of each quarter, $250 is gonna be invested. Maybe you have a breakdown, maybe it's gonna be 10% into company X, 10% into company Y, 40% is the company Z, et cetera, your own strategy. So by doing this, that that is a dollar cost average method. But instead, imagine if you did this. You knew we were near a recession, which we currently are in the US. We had that 10-year treasury minus three-month T-bill inversion. We had that back in November of 2022. So you know this and you know, all right, before we hit the recession, the stock market may rise, it may fall, it may kind of stay flat. But the thing about it, you know what's going on. So you have the knowledge to make better and more informed decisions. So imagine instead, if you invested $200 when we hit the recession, then the stock market drops 10%. You invested $500. It drops another 10%. You're like, all right, you know what? I don't think this is market bottom yet, but I'm going to invest $300 here. And it happens to drop again. And guess what? If it didn't drop again, okay, so you invested 800 out of the $1,000 at way lower prices. Did you time the market perfectly? Of course not. But you now understand and you feel confident about, all right, now we're near the end of the recession. The stock prices are going back up. The fundamentals are becoming key again. It's not just based on macroeconomics. It's not just based on the economy. So it's so important to rethink dollar cost averaging Doing it throughout a regular year, of course, that's going to look different. And again, we'll teach you more about this inside Stock Market Millionaire. You can check it out in the description if you're interested in joining or check out our free training. And that'll teach you more about how you can grow your wealth passively in the stock market. It's so important. We're not trying to make you spend a lot of time and energy and stress out about investing. We just want you to learn more so that you can make the most informed decisions because a dollar cost averaging strategy truly, in my opinion, is kind of a way to just do something if you're not unable to understand how the stock market works and understand these patterns. Because once you understand these patterns, you're actually putting yourself at a disadvantage to not actually take advantage of these patterns because they're so prevalent and they're so impactful and they typically are very consistent. If you look back in history, and, and you can definitely look back at the past eight recessions, you'll notice that the stock market is very cyclical. And especially around these recessions, there's been so many opportunities for you to buy more of the shares you own. As long as you've done your research and you love those companies, it's not because of fundamentals most times, especially when you're dealing with what what I talk about a lot, large cap companies, six, ten billion dollar plus companies that are not going to just disappear. They're not going to go bankrupt with a recession. Typically, of course, there's industries that that may be different. But overall, if you're doing your research properly, if you're looking at management and the decisions they're making, you're looking through financial statements, you're seeing these companies are strong. They are visionary leaders. They are doing amazing things. They've gained incredible market share. Where's the company going? Where's it going? And, and that's the big thing that I like to talk about and share is because People get scared, they're fearful. Well, that's why I take a lot of that risk away, in my opinion, especially because I know recessions can completely take out a smaller cap company who doesn't have the same resources as a large cap company. So my opinion, purely, 
do your research. Make sure you find good companies, good stocks. You want to be confident in them. Okay. And then if you also understand these recessions, you can look at, especially using our VI million dollar stocks formula, you can look at how much a company has dropped over the past recession. So you'll notice the S&P 500 dropped about 34%. But if you look at a company like Costco, it only dropped about, I'm going to say 13 to 14%. I don't have it in front of me, but that's a big difference. Now, are all companies going to be performing that well during recession? No, but it's more of a defensive company. Obviously, like when there's a recession, we still need toilet paper and paper towels and essentials. And a lot of times, even though people may not be spending as much, and there's a lot of other schools of thought, but essentially you're purchasing essential items from Costco. And that along with strong management and along with just really being smart of how they have adapted to online and membership models has allowed them to perform well throughout you know, the past recession. So this is really just to teach you guys and just change your mindset a little bit about investing in the stock market and rethinking dollar cost average. You're going to hear it everywhere. Just like index funds, this is another one of those things. Buy index funds and dollar cost average. Now I'm not telling you what to do. That's just what you're going to hear all the time. You're going to hear that all the time. And in my opinion, could that work? Sure. You know, it could definitely work. The S&P 500 has returned about 9% on average over the past 40 years. That's an annualized return. And you could pair this with dollar cost averaging, but you could do so much better. I'm not here to just share what other people are sharing. I'm here to help you become a visionary investor. We're looking for amazing returns with less risk so that you can go do things like this. You can go record a podcast or go film nature or do whatever is meaningful to you and whatever you love. That's what it's all about. It's about figuring out how you can grow your wealth and make your money work for you so that you can more easily have experiences that you love. Can you do this making a 9 to 10% return per year? Sure. But what if you were able to make 15%, 20% or more per year with less risk? Would you be interested? Would you want to learn more? Is this something that you could see impacting your life? So the big thing is it's really important. Figure out what strategies work for you. Figure out if what I'm sharing is something that's actually important to you, or maybe it's something that you don't care so much about, and that's fine. But at least I highly recommend understand stock market patterns and recessions, because this is just going to make your confidence level just really rise because it's scary when you see stocks declining 10%, 20%, 30% in a month. It's honestly, it's scary. And you can avoid this by understanding these patterns because you'll see that they're not fundamentals. The company's not crumbling typically, especially with these larger cap companies. That's not what's happening. Instead, what's going on is just a macroeconomic event. It's sometimes a worldly event, but recessions, it's a larger scale event. It's not just one company having trouble. So again, highly suggest rethink dollar cost average, but at the very least, understand recessions and economic cycles. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Tried to do something a little different here while I'm on the holiday and appreciate you guys listening. You can follow at The Visionary Investor on all their platforms. Thanks again and have a great day.